Hello everyone and welcome to a foreigner farming in the Philippines. Uh, Maricel left me here this morning to work on videos. And she went into town to get supplies. I heard her coming because you gotta you gotta get a pretty good run at the hill. There's a little hill right next to our property here. So she went in and got the supplies. More supplies for the uh, chicken coop. And so she drove the van into town and got everything. I wish I was on the other side of this wall where I could walk. I'll make it quick. If I could get a decent shot of her coming in. She is just a trooper. So she went into town and she got all that stuff and her and Jen went in. I was just too busy. I didn't have the time to uh, give it some gas love. <laughs> There's a little hill coming up there. And she is carrying a little weight. She had to get chicken feed. How you doing, Red? You're loaded. You're loaded. She's calling the troops to unload. I hope I'm not expected to be one of those troops. I guess I'll just go on down here and do a progress video on the chicken coop. We ran out of time yesterday and actually didn't get one done. <coughs> so I don't even know what day this is supposed to be. We're kind of on the never-ending three more days cycle on the chicken coop. Wow, what you got there, Red? Jolly Bee. Wow. Oh, Jason and Jen are in town. We saw them in Jolly Bee. Oh. We went inside to buy ice cream for Red, but Jason tricked him. Oh, that's. Thanks, Jason. Thank you, Jason. Wow, Red, you scored. Good job, buddy. Don't let the dogs eat it. I guess we'll continue this on with a progress video of the chicken coop. Day seven or eight, whatever it is. Didn't get a lot accomplished yesterday, that's why I wasn't. Uh, upset that we didn't get a video done. But Tatai William is moving right along here. Am I in your way, Gabriel? Oh, it's not Gabriel. Tatai did get this side uh, a little more done. Uh, this is some of the wire that I brought from the States, chicken wire. Uh, the wall. And so he's he's made a double pin here on each side. He's made a, well, a two-sided pin. Mm -hmm. That side there will be, there's two doors on that there. Uh, Maricel, we made it this way, a four foot wide pin, but divided by two sides. So Maricel can reach in uh, from the edge here with her little short arms and be able to uh, handle the chickens. So a double pin on each side. You want to double the wire, Tate? Maybe. It's kind of ingenious how Tate did this here. He ran, now see me of course, uh, I would have ran uh, a piece of wood across there, but uh, I'm sure Tate is uh, not wanting to use any more of our, our expensive 3x3 lumber. 
So he had the ingenious idea, this is tie wire, this is just baling wire, what we would call baling wire. So he ran this from end to end, and then he put a little support right there. I'll just go down here, I don't, so I'm not sure it's going to pick up on camera. He put a, a support wire from that post up there coming down here to hold it and support it up. And so he ran this tie wire end to end. And to that he was able to attach the chicken wire that I had. So top and bottom and of course he nailed it in at the bottom. Uh, and that's for the partition. And I think that's pretty ingenious of tie tie. He was, he was really thinking that day. And so we, we didn't have enough bamboo. He, the bamboo slats on the far side there are actually the side of the pen. So we got more bamboo, enough to do this side. And I don't know if Marcel got enough to do to, to complete this over here. Hopefully she did. And we had it all written down and figured out. And one other thing we've decided to do, rather than build, because it's always about budget here, rather than build a completely new building down here for the laying flock, we've decided to kind of add on to the sides. We're going to build laying boxes onto this uh, building. My idea is to put them on the ends. Like this is four feet wide right here. Right? This is four feet wide. And that over there is four feet wide. Okay? We have this end, so that's eight feet. And the other end is also eight feet. And our laying boxes up there are about twelve feet uh, long, maybe 14, but uh, the hens aren't using it all. <coughs> so we're thinking that with 8 feet, 16 feet of laying boxes, that we'll have enough. So uh, we can just attach the laying boxes onto this pin and uh, not have to build another building. We'll just dual purpose this one. Because, quite frankly, I mean, this is just, this, this is the bomb here. The way that Tatai has done this, I really like it. I mean, this will be here long after they put dirt over the top of me, I'm sure. It's well built. It's just as solid as a rock. I mean, he's notched in. Uh, that board that he's driving in right there, he's actually notched in. See that there? Kind of like a tongue and groove kind of thing. Tata's really gone all out on this. Uh, I'm uh, I can I can be a, an okey at times and just kind of do things. Uh, I'll just say it half-assed, uh, good enough, uh, just so that it gets done and it's functional. Uh, but Tata Tata is a different kind of guy. He he likes quality. Uh, he wants it to be there for a while. I think that's the difference between having a lifetime of working for other people and then being picky and wanting it to be done well and a lifetime of doing it yourself and good enough is good enough. Uh, there's much to be said for uh, Tatai and his uh, workmanship and the quality of it and the durability. Uh, this is quite 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 the chicken coop here. I would venture to say that uh, half the population in the Philippines uh, don't live in something as eloquent and well built as this chicken coop. Now, although it has been expensive, uh, it is uh, really really well made. So we're going to do the same thing over on this side here as we did on the other. It's going to be bamboo all along here on both sides. And I guess Tata is going to use that uh, ingenious way of using the tie wire uh, to hang up the center uh, uh, chicken wire so we can divide it down the middle. Um, I wish Maricel had gotten this particular uh, netting somewhere else because you can as you can see over there 
that's nice and bright and green it's new and this is nice and dull and green it's old I don't know exactly how we came across this but uh, it's not as strong as the other because you can see where the Tata nailed this this it's already split this out here and the same thing here it's just not new it's not good quality uh, I don't know how we ended up with this but it is what it is I'm sure something having to do with it is uh, the worker just came in and threw this on top of it when he should have put it on the ground and busted all this loot loose uh, hopefully we'll be able to get, a, get this re-nailed a little bit I'm sure Tata will fix it up and it'll be it'll be just fine but it isn't the best quality I can tell just by looking at it it looks like Marcel got a lot of it I don't know where this came from uh, I wasn't with her when this is a whole roll of it here I don't know maybe this is something one of the workers showed up with and we got it at a discount I don't know I'll talk to the boss lady about it the pigs are raising cane because it's almost noon now it took me almost four hours this morning to get the four parts of the uh, numbers done on the on the if we were going to build a piggery today thing petunia is wanting her food right now that's petunia right there and she is saying feed me feed me i'm starving mommy i'm starving daddy i wish she'd get down off of that gate before she breaks it but she ain't playing around she wants her lunch right now and jim's just right there oh no oh yeah okay she's moving that way with a bucket that was she picked it up I thought she was going the other way, but Petunia's happy now. She's eating. So, that's the latest update on the chicken coop. Uh, I'm not even going to ask Tatai how much longer it's going to take to finish it. Uh, because I don't want to hear three days again. But he's doing such meticulous work here. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not upset at all. Uh, this is the way this is built this is something that red could still utilize at some point and we will I forget which wood this is this is the kind of wood that the termites don't like so much so this will this will stand a long time and uh, even if the environmentalists out there aren't going to be too happy with me for doing it I'm going to oil these uh, boards with motor oil uh, because I don't know where to find linseed or cottonseed oil here. Motor oil is usually a lot cheaper to utilize. So I'm going to treat them with motor oil. I don't really don't want to use, use motor oil because that is kind of toxic. Uh, but unused motor oil is, is not that bad. It will preserve this wood for a long time. Of course, the NEPA will have to be replaced maximum five years, probably within three. So the NEPA roof is just uh, it's just going to have to be replaced over and over and over, or until I get tired of replacing it and put a tin roof on it. The reason I know that they put this NEPA roof on it is because uh, it is cooler than the metal roof. But saying that. Uh, it's cooler about up to about a foot away the heat radiated off the tin uh, only goes out so far and since it's pretty much open-ended and there's uh, a good airflow it doesn't really matter if the roofing tin was red hot it wouldn't make this pin that this coop that much hotter so at some point probably in three years we'll change all this and make it a metal roof and another thing you can do with a metal roof is you can paint it white or paint it silver and uh, it'll reflect the heat rather than absorb it all right guys thank you
Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.